Hello, we're down here at the Emirates. Uh, well, sort of. We're in a cosy, warm cafe opposite the Emirates Stadium. And joining me now, three members of Arsenal Fan TV. Guys, it has been a big morning down here at the stadium. Unai Emery has been sacked as Arsenal head coach. I mean, Robbie, let's start with you. Just your immediate reaction. Was this inevitable? Yeah, I think it was inevitable. Um, no surprise. I mean, all three of us were at the game. Some of the few that were at the game last night. And um, it was another very poor performance, baffling decisions. I mean, we needed a goal. Instead of bringing on Lacazette or Pepe, he brings on Torreira. And it just, uh, coming out of the, uh, the ground last night, it just seemed inevitable that, you know, how can he be in charge on Sunday against Norwich? I mean, how many more chances do you give him? Um, I don't think nobody dislikes him. There's, there's no fans that are, you know, dislike the guy personally, but we just felt that, you know, he's just not the one. It was, it was going down, it was going backwards. I mean, it, it seemed like there was big optimism when he came in, you know, a winner of three Europa Leagues, even in the summer, bringing in some big signings, the likes of Nicolas Pepe. What's gone so wrong, do you think? I have no idea what's gone wrong. I don't think anyone does. It's just, he looks like he's lost the dressing room. The players don't want to play for him anymore. And there's only so much you can take as fans. Um, it's well documented that we pay the highest ticket prices. And yeah, it's like Robbie said, <clears throat> no one has any bad word for Emery. And we wish him well with whatever he does, but it just wasn't meant to be at Arsenal. And we've got to move on. I mean, you say you wish him well. Would you, is it safe to say 99% of fans happy and happy to see him go this morning? Nine, yeah, 99% now. But only a few of us wanted him gone in May when he should have gone. Uh, no, 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 I'm saying it, I said he should have gone in May. And uh, I blame the ball for this. They, sh they should have made the decision in May. not now. And after Southampton, he should have gone as well. I mean, that was appalling last week. We could have lost five, I would have, four or five, two at the end. It was, that was awful. That's one of the worst teams in the league. And... Um, the board had to act, um, but I also I, I think the board have got to look, look at themselves as well. Um, I know I know Raul was one of the people behind the decision to appoint him with Gazidis. You know, because he's his mate, he's, he's put him in. Let's hope that now Raul makes the right decision and gets the right manager in. Well, I suppose the big question is what is the right decision? Let's just go through some of the options because the names kind of been banded around this morning. Nuno Espirito Santo is a big one, the Wolves manager. What do you make of that? I like Nuno Espirito Santo. I think he's a, a classy guy. Um, I think I like he, the way he interacts with the fans. And also, he's, you know, he's, he, he came up for it. He took Wolves up from the championship in style. Very hard division to get out of. Um, and then he followed it up by having a great season in the Premier League, getting him into Europe. And, he, and he's through to the knockout um, stages in the Europa League. So I think he's one of those up and coming managers. And I like him. I mean, a lot of Arsenal fans, I see Claude there nodding his head. They were saying the same thing about Brendan Rodgers when we were being linked with him. But look what he's doing now with, with better players. So I, I, I think Nuno would do well. I mean, Nuno, the spirit of Santa Claude, went to Manchester City this season and beat them 2-0. When have we, you know, when did we, you know, even get close to doing anything like that? So I think he could definitely, Nuno could do a job here. Max Allegri? Me and Robbie have had this debate already and a lot of people have been saying that he had an interview for the job when it was available before Emery and he didn't come across well. Apparently he wanted a certain amount of money and it wasn't going to be guaranteed. So I think that boat That's sailed. A good thing. No, but I th no, it's a good thing, but I think that that boat has sailed and plus he's been out of a job for a year or so. Um, I do feel that if Arsenal are going to make an appointment mid-season, they're not going to go for a manager that's in a job already because they've got to pay off Emery and his backroom <coughs> staff and it's a reported 15 million. They would then have to pay off a club for the services of their manager and I just don't think that's going to happen. So Allegri is one of those names and of course Pochettino. He's well, another. well, come on then, Pochettino, because obviously he's I'm out up, of a job I'm now. I'm fully up for it, yeah. Plus it winds them lot up. It's Sol Campbell. I know he's saying we don't want to just wind someone up, but... That's worse than Sol Campbell. It could be because they've still got banners of him around the stadium and all sorts. But what I will say about Pochettino is that in the five years he was at Spurs, he took them from a side that you were never, ever worried about. As an Arsenal fan, we were never, ever worried about him ever winning trophies. They were always going to fail, near misses, St. Totterin's Day and all this stuff. 
But then in the last couple of years, it's the first time in my life as an Arsenal fan when I was genuinely worried about Spurs winning trophies. And the Champions League final, Robbie, Claude, they'll all tell you what we felt like on that day. It was the worst yeah, day of our lives. Ultimately, he failed, right? And I but look at... He? I, 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 he well, he didn't win, did he? And, and that's no, the but thing... what was that, his objective? What yeah, was but his objective? Is he the guy that's going to come in and become a winner? I, I want the next manager to be a winner. And, I mean, I think you, you mentioned Allegri. For me, he'd be my first choice because he's a winner. So, you know... I don't want to just wind up Spurs fans. I want to win things. That's Nuno one No, no, Nuno. No, no, no. But with Nuno, right? I'm saying he's not my first choice. I'm just saying I like him. If if it boils down to Nuno, I will take it. My first choice would be Allegri, but I would take Nuno because I think Nuno is a very underrated manager. What would your second choice be? My second, my second choice would be um, Nuno. My, so my first choice would be Allegri. Nuno Spiriti Santo would be my second choice. But hold on, what you say you say Nuno second, but what has he done that Pochettino hasn't to be second ahead of him? Because I I, I think he's in the same grade as Pochettino. I, I, I look at what he's done, as I said, what he's done in the championship, what he's done with Wolves, and I would rather him. I don't want Tottenham's leftovers, yeah, to be we, honest. We, no, but we, we can we, take we, it if no, we, no. What, what we need is a, tro a serial trophy win. Someone like Angelotti, Allegri. Or even Rafa Benitez, no, yeah, no, no. yeah. Wait, wait, no, let me just no, ask you. No, you, you, you will all, it will definitely organise us. It will definitely organise oh, problem. No. One of them three, they are they are winners. We need we, we need trophy winners. We need. Wait, he's in a job at the moment, anyway. But let's just. Uh, I, want, I do want to get your reaction as well because we understand that Jose Mourinho was someone that Arsenal had in mind before he took the Spurs job. I mean, would you have had Jose Mourinho here at Arsenal? I, I was never keen on Mourinho, and, and, and you know it's well documented. You see our content. I just think that some of the things he said about Arsenal in the past, I wasn't keen on him at all. And I, and I could have seen it going wrong. I think he would have come in and initial, initially would have done well, but fans would be quick to turn on him because of some of the things he said in the past. So for me, I, I wasn't keen on Mourinho, if I'm being honest. I would have him 100%. He's a winner. He's a winner. He's a winner. I'm not interested in all that uh, past. And everything. He's a winner. He's a winner. Yeah, I know. But, I mean, a lot of people didn't like Sol Campbell when he uh, came, came to Arsenal. He's a winner, you know what I'm saying? He's 100% a, a winner, and I would have him all day long. And, if it, and all these people are going on about, oh, uh, Mourinho now he's at Tottenham. Well, Bay starts winning the Champions League. We'll all be gutted, won't we? We'll all be gutted. So, listen, I would have him as a winner. I'm not interested in what's happened in the past. Things change, and uh, we, we, we've taken... We, uh, we took... Um, We've, we've done things in the past that we've taken people on in the past that we shouldn't have t uh, people didn't like in the past, so I would have took him. All right, guys, well, I just want to finish by asking about Arsenal Fan TV because I feel like, obviously, as a collective, you have a massive impact and influence over the fan community. You've taken some criticism over the past week, uh, people, you know, saying that you add to the instability of, of this football <coughs> club. Just, you know, your message. Well, I think, you know, um, we had fans on you know, for weeks saying that they would like to see the manager go and, we, and they were getting criticised. Oh, why are these fans saying this and stuff like that? And then the same people who are criticising him are now coming out today and saying, oh, it's the right decision that he's gone. He should have went weeks ago. So what is it? Are fans not allowed to have their say? These guys were there last night in a half, em less than half empty stadium, right? They witnessed that. They've witnessed every game this season, right? There home and away, are they not entitled to have their say? That's all I say, you know what I mean? Fans are entitled to have their say and it's a new movement and you better get used to it because we're here to stay. There we go. I, I, heard, a, I heard a former Arsenal player this morning on, on a radio station criticising the, cha criticising the channel, yeah, used, his, used the channel for his own purpose. So I'm, I'm, I'm not interested what people, we are the fans. We're, we're, without the fans, there's no football team. We are more important. Players come and go. Exactly. Okay. Everyone's got a voice. Everyone's got a voice. And like I said, and you know, like Robbie said, we was in a half-empty stadium yesterday. I bought my kids yesterday to watch that. I'm surprised I ain't being done for child cruelty. That was dreadful. <laughs> so listen, we're here, come rain or shine. And like Robbie said, we ain't going nowhere. All right, they're not going anywhere, and I'm sure they'll be watching the game against Norwich as well, which was, of course, yep. live on Sky Sports on Super Sunday.